How to change buy it now button on Shopify. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to show you everything needed to change this buy it now button right here. I'm going to show you how to customize this by changing the color and I'm also going to show you how to actually change the text that is going to get displayed right here. So let's get started. To get started, head over to your Shopify dashboard and then navigate to online store and just select the theme that you want to edit this on. So in this case, I'm going to use the DOM theme for this, but this is going to work for all of the other themes out there as well. Just follow the steps that I'm going to do and you are going to be fine. Just click on customize right here and this is then going to open up the Shopify theme editor. Now, I assume most of you are already familiar with this, but either way, right here on the left, we are going to see a general overview of our site with all of the different sections and all of the different blocks inside these sections which we can actually drag around with this icon right here. Uh, once we've actually selected certain sections or blocks we are going to have the settings on the right. We can also change the view of this with this button right here and so on. So to actually navigate to our product page we can either just use this navigation bar right here or I'm simply just going to click on one of my products and now we are going to be redirected to the actual product page where we can change the buy it now button. So first off to actually change the color as you can see if I'm now just going to click on this this isn't going to allow me to actually change the color right here on the right. So rather we will actually have to select the parent element which in this case would be the product information right here and right here on the color scheme we can then change this. So we can first of all just change up the color scheme and then as you can see the button is going to be changed. However to simply just edit the button color on its own make sure to click on edit right here and then you're going to have the options to actually customize your button. Now I would actually recommend you to have special brand colors for your store. This is just going to lead to a way more professional feel on your store which can also lead to higher conversion rates and so on. And actually you can use tools like Coolers.co. I'm not affiliated with them or anything but basically you can use tools like this one to get an idea on what kind of different colors you could potentially use for your store. So if you do want to go for something, I don't know, something yellowish, then you can use this vanilla color and so on. So to actually now customize the color, make sure to just change the solid button background right here to whatever you want. I guess I will just make it to something, I don't know, let's just go with this navy blue thing right here. And then we can actually also change the text right here on the button, which would be the solid button label right here. And we can then change this to whatever we want. I would recommend you to actually just keep this simple as you don't want to frustrate your customers. But either way, that's how it works as for the color. Uh, correction as for the color customization and once you're ready with this just make sure to click on save and let me now also show you how to actually change the text because we can't really do this inside this editor. We will rather have to click on exit on the top left and we will have to opt out of this. Once you are right here click on the three dots and then click on edit code. No worries guys, this can look a little bit intimidating when getting started, but if you are going to follow everything like I'm doing, you aren't going to have to worry and this is going to be super easy. So to get started, just quickly close all of these tabs and then look for theme dot liquid right here on the top left and just select the theme dot liquid file. As you can see this is basically just going to be your theme and your style for the theme and we will now simply have to basically paste a simple code onto this to actually overweight this so that we are going to show basically our custom uh, button text. So you will actually find this code in the description down below. I will leave you it in this google doc document. So just copy this from right here press command C or strict C if you're on Windows. And then this is really important. We can't just paste this onto the end right here. We will rather have to find the actual head uh, section right here. So let's simply just open this up and then paste this onto this. So as you can see, I will just, for example, uh, change the text to hit that like button. And if we're now going to opt out of this, and if we're now going to preview our store, you can actually see that when previewing this, as you can see, this is now actually going to be changed to hit that like button. And this is also going to be changed for all of the other products right here. So make sure to actually hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link 
Download to get started.